Sub shooters, my name is Logan AK Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we're going to be checking out a track by an artist named Schmaxi off of their album Movies Before Bed titled Home Video. And uh, we're going to switch over to here to Spotify where I've got it on play. We're going to go back to the start, listen through it from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think. Oh, I'm liking that really soft introduction there. Bit of foley there with those kind of animal sounds. Very warm kind of layering to it. Those pads are, are, are fantastic. Those kind of synthy kind of pads are luscious. I do feel like I'm in a dream sequence immediately. It's very powerful music because of that. There's sort of an int intricacy with the way that it's been composed and put together. It's very instant. That guitar work is luscious, it's bright, charming, explorative. The panning's quite, quite, it's quite interesting. I'm liking having different elements, like this low ding 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 kind of low mildly percussive thing happening on the left right now. Kind of like a uh, pitter patter like rain sounds or something like that. There's a very interesting angle to this. I haven't really listened to music like this before. It's kind of a very different take on an instrumental which I'm used to. A lot of the stuff I listen to is a lot heavier than this, like, so like progressive metal instrumentals or like, they're very, very alternative, kind of avant-garde kind of things. But this is, I know, a bit more listener friendly. It's very relaxing, movies before bed. To be honest, it makes a lot of sense for there to be an album like this. I think this is a very intelligent album to make because a lot of people need to be able to relax before bed. This is gorgeous. There's so many different in inputs into this track. I can't imagine what it would have been would have taken to produce something like this. Very angelic sort of vocal layering there. I saw a bit of a modula no 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 modulation. I get myself in trouble for saying that. There's like Oh that's that that should that, that probably is modulation right there. Um there's a nice bit of reverb on there, there's some delay. Some oscillation of that signal. Careful attention paid to dynamic range. It's 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 a fantastic sort of loudness, and what I mean by that is like it's mixed and mastered well, but it's not too abrasive. All the elements are carried really smoothly without any um, without any complaints. The bird sounds are beautiful. The panning is the start of the show though, this kind of whooshy kind of laserishy kind of stuff going on top, like hovercrafts going overhead. It's like Schmaxi has given you a world to get lost in, and I have all the time for it. I think this is incredibly well done. I think music that helps people to think and focus is going to be do well in future. I think there's a lot of music that kind of gets you in a mood where you're sort of frenetic and I think that there's almost too much of that nowadays. Or it becomes almost cynical, you know? Stuff like this though, maybe there's just an undercurrent of this kind of music that I haven't been aware of. But I, I would love to hear more of it and if there isn't, then Schmaxi is, is within a niche that I think is very important and going to be very helpful for the years to come. It is a very smooth experience, very colorful, kind of exotic. It's like someone trying to contact you, but they can't quite get through because of the static. Got a lot of love for it. This does not, this is almost criminal that that time went so quickly. It does not feel like five minutes at all. This is one of the best songs I've listened to 
Um, like technically within these reviews I've done, I've listened to thousands of songs at this point. Or nearly 2,000 anyways. I say that because I just, I just think the experience was just so stunningly perfect and complete within itself. It's so comfortable within its own character. It's so lovable. It doesn't argue with you. It doesn't try to steal your attention away. It just lets you sort of sit within it and relax. I think that's the epitome of music is that it makes you feel something without having to wrench your ears, ears open and shove signal down them. It's caring. I think the person who made this would be a genuinely good person. I don't understand how anyone can make this if they weren't. There's a lot of love involved in this. I know I've said love a few times, but I just get that. I feel like a psychic trying to predict the future right now. I don't know what's up with that. But that's effectively my review of home video. I think I described it as much as I could throughout it. I don't really know what more I can add to it. I think that the staging of the track was more of a... It was just the time. It was just five minutes of peace. You know, it, it, that, that's effectively what this was. It was just a, it was just a chance to exist and not need to be thrown around all over the place. Maybe I'm projecting, but that's effectively my review of Home Video, a track from Smaxi off of Movies Before Bed. Hopefully you enjoyed this track, I certainly did. And um, with these instrumental tracks, I'm always cautious because I know that they're typically shorter because I spend a bit of these reviews talking about the lyrics. But I think this is one of those tracks as well where people listening to this will be able to sort of make up their own minds and sort of their own interpretations about it. It might even be a bit polarizing because for some people, there may it may be a bit too peaceful. You know, it may be a bit, it may not necessarily, they may need a bit more, I don't know how to describe it, man. Some, some people are unhappy even when they're sitting in a field of grass and flowers, man, on a sunny day. Hopefully, if you enjoyed it, you'll go check out more of Schmaxi's album movies and Movies Before Bed. Uh, please do stay cool and stay safe and remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. I need all the help more than ever for the crazy stuff going on in the world. It still bugs me that I don't think I've talked about everything. Oh, I don't actually think this needed to have vocals. I think that's the final thing. I don't think this song would have benefited from having a vocalist in it. I think it was good to have that mystery to what was being said within it. I'm glad it wasn't clear. It made it more dreamlike. It made it more sort of like you're in the middle of a sleep. It, I think this is stuff that people could fall asleep to, and I, I dig that. Occasionally I listen to music that doesn't have that as its intention, and you know, you feel a bit sleepy listening to it, but something like this, yeah. But that's effectively my review. I mean, I see stuff on this album like Premium Horror. Maybe that's a bit more intense, a bit more spooky, but we will see. I might even listen to it more, more of this album later on. Stay cool. See you later. And uh, as long as remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. I need all the help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on. Spider hands up.